Does this sound like a familiar to-do list in your home? Okay, number one, organize the bedroom closet. Number two, organize the junk drawer in the kitchen. Number three, organize the junk drawer next to my bed. But is it me or would we just put them on the list and it never happens? Did you know that there could be a simple thing holding you back? That is why professional home organizer Megan Arthurs is going to help us cross those items off our list. Good to see you. So great to see you, Lindsay. I love organizing segments. This is so fun. Okay, so what is the first thing people need to consider before starting to organize? So we need to consider decluttering. We don't want to just be organizing our stuff. Shuffling around your things is not actually creating impact in your home. It's not creating breathing room. This is what I consider actually the number one organizing mistake. And to me, it's like vacuuming your home without plugging the vacuum. Like oh. you're doing the motion, but you're not mm. picking up the dust, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to go through your items on a regular basis. You want to make some tough decisions. Am I using this? Do I love this? Is this adding value to my life? Asking those challenging emotional questions and then setting items aside for donation. Right. Any garbage or recycling has to get tossed as well. I'm like riveted by this video right now. This is everything <laughs> I need to do in my closet. Time lapse. Should we go out and buy the organizer bins? Do they help us in any way? Yeah, that's a great question. So we want to buy bins, but first we want to assess our space. A lot of people, they see a great sale and they think, oh, like jackpot, that's yeah. awesome. It's gonna change my life. However, you need to measure your space first. You also need to consider the quantity of items that you're having and then decide on a solution for you. What's going to work for you and your space? We really just want to bring products into the space if it's positively going to affect the, the functionality yeah. of the space. And that's the key, right? The function of the space. Yeah. So how do we avoid, you know, stuffing clutter away into these drawers or other boxes? Right. And you basically just don't see them. A lot of people are guilty of that. It's yeah. like, oh, the in-laws are coming over. Let's just hide this away. Yeah. So my rule of thumb is don't put it down, put it away. So we want to actually deal with clutter as it arises. If something's in your hand and you do have 30 extra seconds, is it possible to take the items and actually put them in their proper home? And of course, with that being said, things need do home. need a home. So how do you decide where it lives? Right, so it depends on the space. We obviously want it to make sense. So certain items that we use in the space have to live in that location. You hear I'm using an organizer I, for the I bathroom tour. Yeah. So everything has a home in there. Yeah, okay, so why is it so important to take advantage of you say vertical space in the home? Yes, we tend to ignore the vertical space, but it's such an opportunity for storage. So using a blank wall or back of the door is great. Here we see a floating wall shelf being put up. A pegboard could work great too. Even a command hook is awesome. The one I'm using here is actually from HomeSense. There's a lot of really great recently priced storage solutions from there where I you love can HomeSense. Yeah, you can really marry beauty and functionality with products and mm -hmm. I think it's important to do that with vertical storage. And we often forget about that space too. We do. Yes. Okay, you say another common mistake people make is not making enough time for organizing throughout the year? Yes. So if you are an annual organizer, good job, but it's not enough. We really want to adapt organizing as part of our ritual and our lifestyle and our routine. So putting it in the calendar is a great way to think about that. If it's not a priority, we gotta write it down, mm. right? Like as if it's a business meeting or a doctor's appointment. And I like habit stacking. So take a habit that you already do, like brushing your teeth every night before bed and then stacking a new organizing habit mm. either on top of it or below it. So I'm gonna pick up five toys off the living room fl floor 10 minutes before I brush my teeth, which I'm already gonna do. So we're treating ourselves like toddlers in a way. You got it, Lindsay. Yeah, but, I, but you know what? It makes a lot of sense. Uh, Megan Arthur's always Always good to see you. Thanks so much for the tips. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.